Hello and welcome to the Poly and Content Digest of Opus Clip or Opus.pro if you want to look at the URL. This is kind of a long time coming because of how much I've been using it lately and I wanted to start doing these reviews again as a series but this one kind of just came out of nowhere so I was wanting to start doing it. So we are here, one long video, 10 viral clips, create 10x faster. Now, most of these review tools you're gonna to see, they have kind of a similar theme. You get your long, your long form video repurposed into short form clips. However, it just seems that with this tool, it has become easier. I think one of the more important details is the different framing. So being able to reframe it in the way that you want to, so this right here, you have the full frame, you have the dual speaker, then you have just like the fit the screen if you really wanted to. Maybe if you have like a Reddit video to fit the screen, it'll probably be better. And so this kind of attention to detail is something that the other tools don't seem to have done a whole bunch yet. So that's why I really like this. Let's get to this. Now, here is the dashboard page. I can take my YouTube clip, taste it in here, and even though it says it can't do gaming videos, I did do a couple of State of Decay videos in there, and I thought it did decently all right at finding clips, just to make sure I mentioned that. Now, for vlog, I'm surprised it's X'd off, because if you look down some of my older videos that I put in here, these are more vlog-based, where it's just talking head like you see in the corner of this video here. And I even had uh, a couple yeah, a couple other videos that were just essentially vlog-style or talking head-style, and it did fine. As you can see, though, however, most of it are, is the interviews that I've done here. And at this point, I've repurposed most of the interviews that I've done, or at least half, around 60 or so out of the 100. And so let's get to what it looks like. So once you get it processed, you put the link in, it takes a while to process, I will say that. It has been interesting. At some point, it could be really quick. Other points, it's taken me an entire morning to get a video just processed. Me Usually, refreshing the page doesn't really help it load any faster. So. It usually just refreshes on its own once it's ready. And like I said, sometimes it'll be really quick, sometimes it could be really long. And I'm mentioning that because, and on a multiple occasions, it has been like really long, like a couple hours. When it said 12 minutes, it actually ended up being like two hours. Maybe it's because the servers were busy, they might be still growing, those kind of things. It's probably something along the lines of just growing pains. As you can see here though, it's automatically already in this dual speaker view. That is because of my, it has become a, it is because of my preset preferences. And so I only really care about this dual view because I don't really do many vlogs with this tool. I'm only doing my interviews mainly. And so I want both speakers there. I've actually, this is something really important, small little tangent. I've been really wanting this feature for a long time. I thought Type Studio was gonna get close to doing it, but they didn't release that highlighting feature fully yet. And so what I was thinking about doing is using like recast or chopcast to find the clips, make the clips, and then using cross clip or something like it, maybe stream ladder, to take the horizontal video and make it into this vertical format as you see there. The thing is, let's see if I can make sure I just mute this tab here. As you can see here, both sides are moving. And once the title moves, you can see all the text behind it, including the highlights. And every once in a while, you'll see emojis as well. And what this tool does is it finds the clips, it chops them up, it finds them, it edits them, it cuts them, right? It even adds the captions, it adds the title, and it adds the emojis and reframes it into this dual person view all automatically. Now, I can say without a doubt, usually it's around 10 or 15 videos on this list that it finds for you, at least with my hour and a half long interviews. Like you can see, it goes up to about... 25 in this video in particular, because there was a lot of good nuggets on this one. Normally it's around 21, maybe even down to, towards 15. And only about 60% of it is useful, 70% of it is useful. And I know that sounds like very little, but you gotta realize that when you are using these automatic tools, these AI tools, a lot of the time they don't find all the clips. I can honestly say that I think any tool on the market, whether it's Chopcast, Opus, Clap, Doom, or dummy, however you pronounce it, none of these tools finds all the clips. I can say that without a doubt, because I've used them all, none of them finds all the clips. But this one, and some of the other ones I mentioned, find most of the clips. And I am satisfied with that, because at this point, I just need to repurpose. Some of these videos are three years old, and it's I honestly feel like it's disrespectful to my guests for not repurposing it. 
So that's why I started going through this tool. And as you can see, I've used it quite a lot. This is the page that shows you how many minutes you've used per video kind of thing. I do like how it keeps track of this. This is kind of new since I started using this tool. Next is the pricing. Now, this actually went down like literally as I was writing the written portion of this review. I made a little edit to talk about it, but this, this is the yearly, monthly hasn't changed. It's the yearly that went down. I think it was $16 before or something like that. And now since that changed, it actually even credited me the difference as well, which is very respectful of them. I didn't expect that to happen, so that's great. What I would say is it's still overly priced. In my opinion, this tool is too expensive for what it's offering, the price to minutes ratio. So for $13, you're getting 200 minutes, which if you have an hour and a half long video like me, which a lot of interviews are anywhere between an hour and hour and a half anyways, you're only going to get basically, if you're if it's an hour long, you'll get three videos. If it's an hour and a half, you're only going to get one of those videos or two of these videos with the 200 upload minute. And so it's one of those things where that has been frustrating to me. And what I ended up doing was that if you do, let's say 200 minutes, right? You're paying it yearly. You get it all at once. That's 2,400 minutes. Essentially what you'll do is you, you get it all at once and you can use it as quickly as you need. And then every month it takes away the amount of, that you're paid for. So first month will be 200 or if I paid for a higher package, 400 minutes. It's interesting. Uh, that is an interesting way of doing it. And I think that's, you know, it's fair. They're giving it all at once. So if you want to use it up all at once, you can, like I did. And I'm going to have to do it again because I still have too many videos at this point. But a price at this point in time doesn't seem worth it. Now, I want to highlight and point out there is some new features coming. I don't know how I'm going to feel with the AI generated B roll. That would be really interesting to see what happens, what it comes up with. But what I'm more curious about is a smart social media scheduler, right? Will this be good? I don't know. I don't really know how the feature is going to be implemented. They haven't told much of us about it yet, and I haven't really asked. I probably should. At this point, I'm just thinking I'll just use Publer so that way I can do a bulk upload because I already have all these clips at this point. I don't know if I can go, I can't really go back to my earlier clips down here and then schedule them. So at this point, it's not really going to help me because by the time it comes out, I'm going to be done with repurposing all my videos at this point. But I am curious about it because being able to post all three of these at once, not every social media management tool can do that. I can only think of three that does it well and one of which I'm actually no longer even encouraging. So just publish and repurpose at this point. And so if this can do it well, that would definitely offset the price quite a bit. Although this is under the pro plan, so it's probably gonna be more expensive, which means I don't know how well that's gonna be. At this point in time, I don't have much more to say. My experience was shared in the written portion of this video. And so if you wanna learn more about that, you can. And yeah. Other than that, I really just wanted to show you what this site had to offer. So thank you.